Okay, so Angelina has asked on Instagram that when an ICD can be ideally removed. So understand here two scenarios, air versus collection. So one is pneumothorax and the other is empyema or pleural effusion or post-operatively in, or in trauma where there is a pus collection or there is a fluid is there. So first in, is in pneumothorax. So in pneumothorax first there should be lung should be fully expanded. Secondly, there should not be any air leak present. Thirdly, if there a patient is having negative section in the ICD bag, then the negative section should be removed and after removal of the negative section, there should not be any recurrence of pneumothorax. Now, if no negative section is in there in the place, we clamp the ICD for some period of time, usually between 6 to 12, 24 hours under close observation. If there is no pneumothorax development, then it can be removed. We can confirm it on x-ray. Now, if the patient is on mechanical ventilator, now, if the patient is having minimal settings like minimum PEEP and the plateau pressures and the peak pressures are minimum, we tend to remove the ICD. But if the plateau pressures are high, if the PEEP is very high, if the lungs are very bad, then we tend to keep ICD in pneumothorax for a longer period of time even if there is no leak. So, that is to prevent any spontaneous pneumothorax in case it develops. Now, in case of effusion, empyema or post-operatively, firstly, the lung should be fully expanded. Secondly, there should not be too much purulent discharge or active bleed in the ICD. And thirdly, the amount, the daily amount or serous sanguineous fluid which is coming from the ICD, there is no standard guideline, but the general consensus is it should be less than or somewhere around 200 to 3 ml per day. And if it is less than that, we can remove the ICD in, in such conditions. So, do read more about it.